Hi guys, welcome to a game called Card Life. This is a sponsored video on a game called, well, it's called Card Life. It's like Minecraft, kind of. It's like Staxel, kind of. It's a survival style game where everything is not blocks, it's paper, or rather cardboard. I mean, there's a dude right there. He looks happy as Larry. He's got like a heart cut into his card. That's, that's great, right? <laughs> right now here we go. This is one of the one of the big things that stuck out to me when, when it was mentioned to me You actually draw your character. So it says connect the dots So if we just draw like a square My face is gonna be a square, right? Yeah, it is okay, and that's kind of a cool haircut So now that we know that's how it's done we we'll trash that and So it has to go in between these dots, but what if it goes like like this. Wow, <laughs> so he can have an X as a head. Oh man, so I'm gonna spend some time drawing a face. There we go, we got our tattooed up beef as hell ninja. Let's do it then, I reckon we're ready. Let's jump in game. Man, already this game looks really nice. So, ah, oh, the whole world is kind of layered. Like you'd imagine, like a topographical map? Like an ordnance survey map? There's layers to this world. Okay, so we'll go through the motions. Punch down a tree to collect wood. Punch it. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, look, so you actually carve out like a piece of the tree. And I guess if we carve enough out, the tree will fall over. You have to get every last bit that it hangs on by. There we go, timber! Oh, now that is actually really cool. Craft a wooden hatchet. Oh, cool. So look, this is all stuff you can make. Hatchet. Wow, you actually get to draw your hatchet. Okay, we're going to make a, a nefarious looking mother trucker here. It's going to have like a half moon blade and a wicked spike. Yeah, look at this. It's badass. <laughs> it, looks, it looks terrible. It looks so bad. It's fine. Now we can wield our hatchet. That's really cool. So I guess you get to draw like your own armor as well. Die, crab. Who's going to die first, me or the crab? At the moment, it's anybody's bet. So the draw function's very cool at the moment, but I can imagine after like 10,000 hours, all you're really going to do is, want to do is draw a triangle for the axe and just be done with it. Okay, I'm not going to kill any more crabs because these things, these things are pretty tough. A white name means I guess they're they're friendly. Those are springberries, so we've got to eat them to complete the quest. Nice. Craft a wooden short sword. Hell yes. Oh, look at that. Is that a blade or a hacksaw? Fear my sword of legends. Well, that's it. That's, that's, collect my rewards. All right, so I've done, I've done it. Collect, oh, oh, I should have collected these as I did them. Would have made, uh, Crafting these things much quicker. Right. Place a wooden foundation to start building. Where are we going to live? We could live up here on this in this forest. Let's try that. Oh, that's not exactly what I wanted. <laughs> that's the reverse of what I wanted. Here's as good as anywhere. Oh, right. So it doesn't mess it up. It still looks like a normal foundation. Place a wooden door. Man, you draw everything in this game. And I, I love that. There we go. Oh, nice. I like it. It's a tree window. Oh, but there's a template for a wolf door that you can create as well. Cool. And then we put this down... What? On the floor. Place a wooden door. Well, I guess if we put it on the floor, we still placed it, right? Oh, here we go. This is the wooden door. My bad. Right. Okay. There we go. We got ourselves a house. We haven't got a roof yet, though. But roofs can wait. Mine stone with a pickaxe. Okay. Yeah, okay. That That's kind of ridiculous. I'm happy with that. <laughs> this, is, this isn't going to get any stone. Is this stone? This kind of stone? Excellent. Well, we got some stone. What do we do next? 
craft stone squire armor. All right. Ah, oh, now this is what I'm talking about. We get to build our helmet. So you build one half, and then it replicates that half over the other side. Okay, let's build some curvy armor. Oh, I like that, but it needs eye slits. And an evil looking face as well. Yeah, that looks good enough. Right, now we get to design a chest plate. So this is the shoulder pad. Again, I like spikes. Excellent. The main breastplate, spiky boy. Looks like Sour Fang's armor. This actually looks pretty boss. Okay, that works. And what's this? Ah, oh, this is the uh, the middle plate. Sweet, we have our armor. Defeat a wolf for its pelt. Okay, so I put my armor on. Ready for battle. Got a sword. A wicked blade, wicked edge. Oh, that's a wolf. Die, wolf. I'll take your pelt turn it into a, a nice bed or a coat or maybe a pair of socks wow that was close almost died place a simple bed no oh, I, th I thought it was that a simple bed nothing simple about this bed it's a spiky bed what happens if I just go spiky crazy I like this and the pillow. That's going to be round. And the blanket. Oh, kind of like... Oh, I like that. Yeah, oh, look at a messed up bed. Put this bad boy down. But we're going to put it down in our house. I don't think there's rain in this game because thinking about it, rain in a, uh, in a, in a game where everything's made of cardboard, that's, that's not going to end well. Perfect. Oh, I love the way you can place things down. This is a really slick game. Place a wall torch. Now, do I have to craft a special wall torch? Yes, I do. It's not just a regular torch. Oh, but you do get to draw everything in this game. I love that. Well, I think instead of a normal torch, it should be kind of like a cool brazier. Yeah, that kind of looks okay. Yeah, it doesn't look okay. It's fine. It's fine. It'll do. Hit and miss, right? We're going to put a torch outside the front door so we can see who's coming. Nice. Now, fire in cardboard. Seems a bit dangerous. Smelt copper ore using a furnace. Metal ores are stronger than wood and stone. These ores must be smelted in ingots before they can be used for crafting. Smelt copper ore. Doesn't say where I find copper ore, though. And using... Oh, my God. There's so many wolves. Do you reckon I can take them? Yeah, probably. Definitely cannot handle this many wolves. Oh, run away. Die. And sleep. There's something glowing red over there. Probably shouldn't go in that direction. But let's see what it is. Oh, it looks like a, some kind of goblin. Oh, it's like evil demons. I will, uh, I will leave those. Oh, no, one's seen me. It's an imp. Die, imp. I'll take you down. This thing's weaker than a wolf. Rancid hide. Coarse meat, dull magic essence. And there's some more imps over there. I'll leave them alone. We're going to dig for copper now, see if we can find it. So far, really, really, really enjoying this game, actually. And also, it is multiplayer, which means you can just grab some friends and check it out. Now, are you saying we actually get to design our furnace? No, we don't. Thank, thank God. Kind of, uh, part of me is upset by that, but another part of me is just very glad that we're not designing another thing to uh, to build. So we're going to put the furnace outside. I don't think we need to put it inside. 
We might need some wood, though, to get it burning. Right, fuel. So it uses cherry wood as fuel. Or goes there. Fuel is there. It's got fuel. Smell. Nice. Copper ingot used to craft basic equipment. Refine coarse hide using a clothing rack. Ah, oh, I see where this is going now. And let's check the journal. Got some copper ingots, which means we can make can we make copper armor? Yeah, we can. Nomad helmet and chest armor and stuff like that. Looks like it's made from copper. There must be copper weapons as well. Right, before we go, I'm just going to go on a big explore. Because I've, I've built my base. I've got a smeltery. I've made... What's this? A oh, wood. I'm pretty hungry, but that's okay. But I'm just going to go this way. Exploring a bit more. See if I can find some new, interesting, different stuff. Maybe some creatures, some animals, a dragon maybe, a paper dragon. We'll see what we find. There's a mountain over there. Now, is that a mountain just in the distance as like a decoration? Or can I actually get to that mountain that I can see? Now, watch out. Here's some grizzly bears. Now, bears are deadly at the best of times. But I have never fought a cardboard bear. Oh... He's angry. Looks like I might be now. Oh, no, he's not. He's not. Oh, he might be there. All right, all right. Oh, there's some big old bears over this way. Are these bigger bears? Oh, these are huge bears. I love it. Going to stay away from these guys. Just walk straight in between these guys. That'd be fine, right? Yeah, looks good. Oh, bears are quick. <laughs> Who knew? Okay, so we're going to climb high up into the mountains, into the snowy biome. And see what kind of creatures haunt these frosty peaks. Holy crap, the world is huge, though. I've come this far. So be berries are quite sustainable, but I just... Oh, my God. Yes. Yes, I was right. Look at this mean son of a gun. I thought I'd find a dragon. I was wrong. I found frickin' raptors. There's dinosaurs. Paper dinosaurs. Ah! He's chasing. He's chasing. Oh my god, he almost one-shot me. Get out of there. Go, go, go. Oh, my stomach's grumbling. It's grumbling and growling. I'm starving. I'm taking the damage. Come on. Get the damage. No. Freaking ripperoni and pepperoni. And I respawn back at base. And all my stuff is gone. No. Oh, man. That raptor totally wiped me out. Honestly, I've, I've lost all my stuff. So I feel like going back for it right now would be... <laughs> Well, oh, I don't know if I'd survive the journey, to be honest. There's a lot of good stuff lost, but it's that kind of crushing defeat that makes you want to duck out. So I'm going to take a break. I'm going to take a break from card life. Thank you for watching. Check it out on Steam, and I will see you in the next video. Until then, take care.